The purpose of this video is to show how to anchor a catheter placed into the bladder. Proper anchoring of your catheter can reduce pain in the bladder and urethra caused from the catheter being pulled on or traction being placed on the catheter. Many anchoring devices are commercially available. A few of the many anchoring devices will be demonstrated in this video. Let's begin by starting up at the catheter. Traction on a catheter can be avoided by ensuring a loop or soft bend in the catheter is present between the point the catheter exits your body and the anchoring device. If you have a suprapubic catheter in place, it is important that the catheter be anchored on your abdomen a few inches from where the catheter comes out of your body. If your catheter exits your urethra, the catheter should be anchored on the abdomen or thigh. The location of the anchoring device is dependent on your body's characteristics and the length of the catheter exiting your body. If a urethroplasty was performed, the preferred location to anchor the catheter is on your abdomen. A Foley stabilization device allows the catheter to be anchored at the Y connection on the catheter. The mechanism allows the catheter to swivel. If hair is present, wet the skin, and shave the direction the hair falls to prevent skin irritation. Apply the skin barrier film to allow the skin barrier to dry. Place the catheter into the Foley stabilization device and find the best location to place the device ensuring a loop is present between the end of the catheter and the device. Secure the stabilization device to your body. Another anchoring device is an adhesive anchoring device. It can be used anywhere on the catheter or on the tubing of a leg bag or night drainage bag. Again, find a location which best fits your body. Place the foam adhesive side on your body. Remove the paper backing on the adhesive strip. Place the catheter or tubing into the adhesive strip, ensuring the catheter or tubing is secured on both sides of the catheter or tubing. If you secure the adhesive only on the outer aspect, the catheter can slip in the device. The adhesive anchoring device can be opened up multiple times to allow you to switch the location of the catheter or tubing. In some cases, both a Foley stabilization device and the adhesive anchoring device may be needed. Tape can also be used to secure a catheter tubing. Again, it is important to make sure tape is secured to tape both before and after the catheter or tubing to prevent slipping. A catheter is attached to leg bags and night drainage bags. It is important for the tubing on the leg bag or night bag be secured to your leg to prevent pulling on the catheter. Tape, an adhesive anchoring device, or a leg strap can be used to secure the tubing on the drainage bags. If a leg strap is used, secure the leg strap comfortably to your leg. Open up the green securing loops and secure the tubing in place. When using a leg bag, it is important that the leg straps be secured properly in place. The strap has a textured side to help the strap stay in place. Place the textured side against your skin. Adjust the length of the leg strap to fit your leg. Lock the strap into position by locking the strap in place. This will prevent the strap from getting longer as the bag fills with urine, causing pulling on the catheter.